what is going on everybody on YouTube Max Rock here with a brand new video and today we're gonna to be doing the full review of the Moto E5 Play for Boost Mobile now to get things started here the E5 Play in my opinion is the updated version of the Moto E4 from last year that came out on several different carriers it's not really too much of a difference but nonetheless it is an updated version of it if you ask me the E4 had uh, you know similar features cameras in the front and back with LED flashes same uh, camera ratings and whatnot so let's just go ahead and discuss the specs for this device here with the e5 play you get a 8 megapixel camera on the rear with an led flash you also get the motorola logo and the um the back of the phone here the phone itself is constructed of plastic so it is a pretty cheap filling phone uh you got a power button on the right side of the device it's rigid you get the volume up and down keys on the top of the phone you get a headphone jack with a noise canceling mic on the right side or the left side here looking at the front of the phone you get nothing on the side on the bottom you get a micro usb charging for the, uh, for the phone here, micro USB charging port, and you get a microphone for talking as well. Now, in front of the phone, you get a 5 megapixel camera, LED flash. The flash is really bright in this phone, so be careful how close you put it to your face. You might go blind. Uh, the screen itself is 720p, has 282 pixels per inch. It's 5.2 inches in size. You get a speaker on the front of the device, which is good because I hate speakers on the side, and I hate not on the side. I hate speakers on the bottom. Well, not on the bottom. I hate speakers on the back. I'm not really a fan of speakers on the bottom. I prefer them to be in the front. And uh, you also get a uh, micro SD card slot for expansion. So you can add an SD card in here and you can adopt that as internal storage. And so you can expand your storage of the phone here. We're gonna try to sum this all up here. We're gonna keep it focused on the build, the performance, the camera, the software, battery. So when it comes to the build, like I said, it's constructed of plastic. Um, it doesn't, it, it, it definitely has a cheap feel to it, but it does have a sturdy feel. So. You don't feel as though if you hold the phone and squeeze it like this, you remember it's gonna break in half. Some phones you feel they feel super cheap. This one here, it's not that it feels cheap. It has a little bit of heft, that, that little heft to it. it. Has a little bit of weight. Now, if I take this battery at the back of the phone, then that's when you start wondering, like, hey man, is this thing gonna break if I accidentally drop it? Bill goes. I would say it's pretty good. You know, it feels a little bit on the cheap side, but whatever. Bill, it gets a pass for me. Perform the software in this device here is pretty good. You have Android 8.0. So it does. It is running a pretty, uh, you know, you know, recent version of Android. It's not Android P or anything like that, but it's Android O. So it is updated from the E4 of last year. And you get things like picture in picture, things like that. And the notifications are pretty cool when you scroll up. You can see that they are all aligned, and um, you see like how you see that there. It's pretty cool. But it can be laggy from time to time depending on what you're throwing at the device. So if you're trying to get the device to, you know, try to process a video, if you're editing on Power Director, or if you're trying to download something. You got 10 apps downloading or updating in the Play Store, and you're trying to watch a YouTube video as well. And then on top of that, you want to bounce back to a game. If you do something like that, the phone itself will begin to lag. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, the phone itself isn't designed for that. It has two gigs of RAM. It has a quad-core processor. Um, it's pretty much in a budget line of things, so you can't really handle things like that if you try to push it at it. But little things like you know, you know, doing one thing at a time, watching videos. Or downloading here emailing with it at the same time it can handle that but when you're trying to overload the device here it will begin to lag and you will start to notice that music playback is pretty good put some headphones in playback is gonna be pretty good on the phone the speaker is on the front of the device so you know how I am I don't really like the speaker being on the bottom I don't I really don't like it being on the back um, I give it a pass for the bottom, but on the front of the phone is where I really prefer because you're actually looking at your phone, so it just makes sense for the speaker to be facing you. So I like that there. Uh, it takes pretty good photos in daylight, like with any phone. As long as you got a good amount of daylight there, the camera itself is going to be like top notch. Um, it just depends on you know what you're taking a picture of, because sometimes it can be off balance, you know, overexposed, things like that. But that's you know to be expected for a phone that costs 60 bucks or how much I pay for it there. But when it comes to getting the perfect shot, it can happen with this phone here. It's just, you get a good amount of daylight, you'll be fine. As far as selfies, same thing. Good amount of daylight, you're gonna be fine as well. Not gonna be any complaints there. Now, if you wanna see my camera review or camera test, you can actually check it out on the channel. I'm not gonna have a video link in the description. Just search Max Rock Moto E5 camera and the video should come right up. Uh, battery on this phone here. The battery on this phone is a 2500 milliamp hour battery and I've gotten about four and a half hours of screen on time with this phone here with my usage and I usually have the phone on about 75% brightness and using it like a madman. You know, I'm pretty much a heavy user and when I'm using a phone, I'm making sure I get my money's worth out of it. Uh, if I had it on full brightness, I'll say I get about three and a half hours, but with 75% four and a half hours, 
a, a battery that's 2500 milliamps it's not bad for me but you can definitely make it through the dig with this phone here if we want to go back to software i forgot to mention this here the phone does have the moto roller actions here so basically where the moto actions are is that you click it here you click the application and it opens up and it will show you the features here and you get the three finger screenshot you can uh, swipe to shrink the screen uh, pick up the phone to stop ringing flip to not disturb so basically with the moto display your uh, notifications it says here face in and out while the screen is off so if you're you know chilling or whatever and you know you get a notification on your phone you don't feel like unlocking it you can actually just um, you know pick the phone up really quickly and what will happen is it would display the notification you know in a cool little effective way like not effective but a cool little effect and uh, you'll see that you had a notification so it's not always on display but it's like a, a always coming on and going back off display <laughs> We can talk about the Geekbench here. Uh, you get a single core score of 660 and 1846 uh, on the multi-core score. So that's pretty much expected when it comes to the Snapdragon 425. And if we went over to a 2-2 benchmark here, you got a 43,468 for the 2-2 benchmark score. So don't put a lot of, you know, stock into these scores here. They don't really mean anything. It just shows what a device performed in comparison to the other one here. But what really does matter, and I always say this in my videos, is the actual everyday performance of the device. So when it comes to everyday performance of the device, this device is killer. And if you're looking to get a new phone, I would say this is the device to get right here. If you want to stay in that budget range, and if you're a person who previously used the Moto E4, this is upgraded version, not upgraded, updated version of the phone has a slightly bigger screen and has Android 8.0 and that's pretty much it if you ask me. So if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Like the video if you haven't liked it already and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you do decide to subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so that anytime a video goes public on the channel you'll be notified immediately. But until then my name is Max the Rock. I want to say thank you of course for watching this video and you have a good day. Deuces.